Hello and welcome to Henko Julfo. I'm Julfo. Now, today I'm going to be doing a review on Microsoft Office 2010, the technical preview. As you can see, I just opened Microsoft Word 2010. Um, the first thing I noticed that's different between this and Office 2007 is um, the theme. It's it's white, which isn't perhaps the best looking theme, but it works and that's um, all that matters really. Now, the first thing I'm going to talk about is this screenshot function. Um, what it does is um, it, it enables you to insert a screenshot of anything that you're running at the moment. So if I make this window, um, if I then click screenshot, it says available screenshots. And so if I click that, you can see it's inserted a screenshot of what I'm doing here. Now this is extremely useful for if you want to um, take lots of screenshots of different windows and stuff, but don't want to have to um, sort of crop them to the right size. You can just sort of make a window of any size and, and, and take a screenshot of it and insert it, which is, for me at least, extremely useful. So that's the first thing that I, or the second thing rather, that I noticed that's different. Also, you can now apply um, text effects such as glowing just to normal text, which I don't think you could before. So for instance, if I wanted to put a red glow around that text, all I do is go to this little thing here, glow, and select a glow, and it makes the text glow, which is wonderful, brilliant, excellent, lovely. Next, the absence of word art. So if I wanted to, um, hang on, let me just get rid of this. If I wanted to create something word artish, instead of having to go insert word art, which you can still do, all you need to do is click here and choose whichever word art you want, and you can change the size easily. There you go. It's nice. Now, onto the menu system. As you can see, we've still got the classic sort of ribbon um, style here. Well, not the classic, but yeah. Um, mainly the same, not much difference. But here we see no weird globe thing um, for the menu. Instead, you have this little button here which you click, um, and it brings up a coloured screen which is lovely um, and yeah it's sort of arranged everything in different sort of categories which is for me it makes it easier to find stuff. I'm just going to point out a quick bug that I noticed. You can't change the colour scheme. Um, for instance if I wanted to do colour scheme 2 it doesn't actually change it because it doesn't exist. Yeah, anyway, that was just a quick piece of useless information that I wanted to share with you. Um, so here you can see in the word options we have general, display, proofing, save, language, advanced, customise, ribbon, blah, 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 blah. Let's move on to display. The normal display options here, so n not much um, stuff to say here. Proofing, same as usual save, you can change what format it saves it in by default, which is useful. I don't think you could have done that before. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So nothing much different, different in the options. Um, now, the thing that I noticed about um, Office 2007, um, which was slightly weird, is that PowerPoint and a few other components of Office seem to have um, this sort of upgraded gradient um, and formatting shape options, while um, Word didn't. I found this really strange, but um, luckily they've 
changed that now in um, Office 2007, and you can see that um, the gradients are changed as well. Now you can see the different gradient stops, and you just simply click on them and change the colour that it um, that you want it to be, and it does that. And you can you can sort of move the the gradient stops much easier than you could before. You can also change the type um, and preset colours are still there, which is lovely. Been there since Word 2000 at least. Yep, so the line colour is the same, line style, shadow, reflection, glow and soft edges, 3D format, yeah, 3D format, you can make things 3D, lovely, um, 3D rotation, rotate things 3D-ishly, picture corrections, obviously the usual things, so sharpen and soften and brightness, contrast, picture colour, you can recolour it, artistic effects, I haven't seen this yet, so let's try inserting a picture of some sort, insert picture, um, let's have a look. There's DVD, since I love that image, not. Um, oh, I see. Lots of different effects here. Light screen looks fun. It's not. Oh, well. Um, crop. Yep, cropping. Text box. Alt text. Alternate text. Lovely. Yeah, so it's all quite similar, but you've got some small differences, so screenshots and gradients and whatever. Um, 